Okay, let's have a look at percentage yield. So before we do a calculation, let's look at some definitions. So we have theoretical yield, actual yield, and percentage yield. So let's start with theoretical yield. It's the maximum amount of product that can be produced in a chemical reaction. The actual yield is the actual amount of product that is made. And then percentage yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. Okay, let's look at an example. We have SO2 plus oxygen to make SO3. And we're going to calculate the maximum theoretical mass of SO3 that can be made by reacting 96.0 grams of SO2 with excess oxygen. So the excess oxygen tells us that the SO2 is the limiting reactant. So what we do first is we use the equation N equals M mass divided by molar mass. So we put the mass on the top, which is 96.0. The molar mass of SO2 is 64.06. And we get 1.50 moles of S. O2. Okay, so next we look at the ratio of SO2 to SO3, and it's a one to one ratio. Okay, so that means that we will have 1.50 moles of SO3 because it's a one to one ratio. So we want to find the mass. Okay, so we use this equation, mass equals number of moles times molar mass. Okay, so we input the numbers, we have number of moles is 1.50 multiplied by the molar mass of SO3, which is 80.06, and that gives us 120.09 grams. Now the problem is, is this is three significant figures, this is four significant figures, and our final answer here is 5. Well, that's wrong, isn't it? Because our final answer can only be to three significant figures. So we make it 1.20 times 10 to the 2 grams, which is three significant figures. Okay? Right, let's do part B. Um, under certain conditions, only 90 grams of SO3 were made from the 96 grams of SO2. Calculate the percentage yield. So here's our equation for percentage yield here, okay? It's actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. So the actual yield, well, we're told in the question here, aren't we? That's our actual yield here. The theoretical yield is there. We've just calculated it. So we input the numbers 90.0 divided by 1.20 times 10 to the 2 times 100 gives us 74.9%. And that's to three significant figures because our input data here is three significant figures too. Okay.